After that, we ventured off to Osu, a neighborhood in Accra that's known for its vibrant streets. We ended up meeting Jamie at Shop Accra. Jamie is the owner of Sankofa Snack Foods. Now Sankofa has really shifted and changed what we think of as plantain chips. So regular plantain chips, they're, they're, they're plantain chips, right? But he's added all these different spices and flavors to it to really enhance it and to make it something different. We're so excited to see you and get to know more about Sankofa snack food. First of all, what inspired you to even start Sankofa? I guess the whole idea was really to take traditional ingredients and traditional snacks and use food innovation to do something special with them. The name Sankofa actually translates to go back and get. In essence, it's basically saying to move forward, it's okay to take what's best from the past. Plantain chips always reminds us of mm -hmm. home too. Mm -hmm. Why plantain specifically? <laughs> Initially, when, when I was planning out to go into a venture, into a business, there, were, there was always food and beverage. Beverages were pretty expensive to, to invest in, it required a lot more research. So I had a whole list of snacks that we were going to work with, and the plantain chips seemed like the most universal. Everybody knows plantain chips and they get it, so when they see the evolution of that, I think they're able to appreciate what the brand's trying to do. Mm -hmm. So can you tell us a little bit about why you chose these flavors? Sure. I essentially looked for flavor profiles that had something to do with home. Take the chicken, ginger, and garlic. Whenever we make chicken here at home, two of the key ingredients are always ginger and garlic. Before you use any other spice, it's the base of it. We decided to go for a smoky flavor because we like smoked meats in Ghana. So we basically tried to give people the experience of a smoked flavor on a plantain chip. And then some were also random, I mean, because we knew that people would enjoy them. Like the sweet cinnamon, you know people love cinnamon. Mm -hmm. And I also see that they're gluten-free. Mm -hmm. Well, all of these are clean labels, so they are plant-based. There's nothing artificial, no artificial preservatives, flavors, or colorings, and opt for zero cholesterol whenever we can. Okay. It's still a snack, but we want it to be as healthy as possible. Not only do I see beautiful, tasty chips, but beautiful branding, mm -hmm. um, the, the, the colors, everything. How did you um, decide on the branding, and why is it important for you mm -hmm. to have it this way? I mean, branding is its really how we communicate with everybody that comes in touch with it. So our branding is tied to our primary pillar, which is cultural revitalization and cultural evolution. And the whole idea is really to pull in from tradition, to pull whatever we can from tradition in anything we do. It doesn't even have to just be food. It can be music, it can be arts, it's exactly what you guys are doing now. And to evolve that in a way that allows it to come on this journey with us as we progress, as we modernize. We got an opportunity to just get to understand the mind behind the product. Amazing product package and everything is great.